Okay, for the x-intercept, y is going to be 0. So I can plug 0 in for y and solve this equation for t. Let's factor a t out. So t factors out, and then that's going to be t squared minus 3. Now t squared minus 3, I can, well t is 0. When t was 0, did I get y equals 0? That's, that's this point right here. Okay, and then t squared minus 3 is 0. So t squared is 3. So when t is plus or minus the square root of 3, I should get y-intercepts. Uh, x-intercepts, not y-intercepts. <coughs> x-intercepts then. So what about when t is the square root of 3? What are you going to get up here? 3. So x is the square root of 3 squared, which is 3. And when, when t equals negative square root of 3, you get 3. So right here, this point is at 3, 0, where it is crossing the x-axis. So I found that. Now here's the formula for the derivative of um, parametric curve. This is on page 649. To find the derivative of parametric curves, we'll do this. We want dy over dx. And it equals dy over dt over dx over dt. And that's if dx over dt is not 0. So that's how we'll find derivatives. For this particular problem, let me try to write these correctly now. x equals t squared y equals t cubed minus 3t. So dy over dx is going to be the derivative of y with respect to t. 3t squared minus 3. And what's the derivative of x with respect to t? 2t. There's the derivative.